I'm Carly Smashes Lipstick and today I am super excited to bring you my final tutorial featuring the Snow White collection from Bezame Cosmetics. I call this look Whistle While You Work because it's the perfect subtle look to wear to work or school and it's super easy to do. Here at WeSearch we believe in finding the perfect makeup to fit your needs and to make your dreams come true. Let us know in the comments below if there's a collection or a product that you would like to see us review. Also for any makeup addicts like me out there, let us know if you'd like to join our team because we are always looking for some new beauty queens or kings to play with. Okay, for the whistle while you work look, I'm gonna be using predominantly all of these really beautiful muted shades down here as well as some of the lighter shades from the top. So going in first with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna take pastel 10 and put this all along my eyelid. I'm going to take Rose 300 here, this soft pink shade at the bottom, and use that to start transitioning into a darker color for my crease. Okay, now I'm taking Cocoa 103, which is a rosier, deeper color. I'm going to use this now, really focusing on that outer V. All right, to really deepen that outer corner, I'm going to go in with Gray 106. I'm just gonna use a clean fluffy brush to really blend that out. So I wanna bring in a little bit more warmth and color to the outer section of my eyelid. So I'm going to go back in with this Cocoa 103. For the brow one real quick, I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that pastel color. And then once again, I'm just gonna fluff it out with this clean fluffy brush just to really blend it up to the brow bone. So next I'm gonna do something which is called a cut crease. But basically I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and put this in the inner corner and this is gonna create a very defined line where my eyelid is. Now I'm not gonna do a full cut crease across my entire eyelid. I'm just gonna add a little bit in the inner corner really just to define that one area so we can really highlight that and bring more light into the eyes. So as you can see here, it really gives a very defined line where the crease of my eyelid is. And then we already provided that nice deep color over my crease area. So that is just gonna cut that even further to make it more dramatic. It adds just a touch of drama to your everyday look. So to highlight this effect, I'm gonna go in with Pastel 105. And I'm just gonna pat this down right where I drew that concealer in the very inner corner of my eyelid. Awesome, once that's done, I'm now going to blend that outward back into the deeper color that we put down earlier. So to do that, I'm gonna use Rose 300 again. All right, once you have your eyelids done, let's add a little bit of color underneath. I'm going to go in with Taupe 102 here and use this on the outer V of my eye. A little bit really goes a long way when doing this kind of technique underneath your eyes, especially for an everyday look. You don't want to end up looking like a raccoon. So I'm going to go back in with the Pastel 105 and use that to highlight that area. And for a transitionary color, I'm going to go back in with Rose 300 and use that just to blend the white into the taupe color that we used earlier. All right, once you have your look down for your eyes, go ahead and add some eyeliner and mascara. I'm gonna do that for myself and I'll see you in just a moment for our lips. All right, so for my eyeliner, I actually went with a deep brown eyeliner instead of a black, just to keep the look a little bit more natural and more casual. Also, it will bring out all the warmth of those rosier shades we used earlier. And then I use my typical black mascara for my eyelashes. My lip pick for today's look is going to be the Doc Lipstick shade. This is a beautiful rosy pink color to bring out all those rosy shades that we put on our eyes earlier. Now just for a hint of sparkle, I'm also going to add the Dopey shade as a layer. This is a white lipstick, but it has lots of sparkles on it and looks beautiful and layered on top of another light lipstick. So let's put that on. Alright, and there we have it. Alright you guys, this is my finished whistle while you work look. I hope you liked this tutorial, giving you a very glamorous but also understated and natural look for your everyday work outfit while you whistle and while you work. This was using the entire Snow White collection with the lipsticks and the eyeshadow and it's a super easy look to pull off with just a little bit of imagination. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this tutorial and the reviews of the Snow White collection from Bezame, be sure to give this video a thumbs up on your way out and leave us 
a comment. Did you know about this collection and are you into everyday Disney princess style like me? Don't forget to subscribe to WeSearch for the latest in product reviews and have a magical day.